go. All right, so now we are going to be doing eyeshadow, eyeliner, and eyelashes. So we are going to start with our Color color Pop eyeshadow palette. Now our mirror is broke, so don't mind that. But we are going to be using this color. It's the Cocoa Crush as the lid. And we are going to be use the Cocoa for the crease part. And then also Palm Reader for the above or below the eyebrow and for the little part of your eye in the center. Um, we are going to, I usually use, since this glitter is very loose, I usually use a smaller kind of flatter brush and I'll just kind of do a couple taps on it and then you want to do it on it so you don't get away or like a, around it. A little tap and then you'll have close your eyes and I usually just start from the very far left swipe it over just so we don't get a lot of excess on this part of your eye or your face as little or as much as you want until it looks to your liking This I just do just to where you kind of feel where the bone of your eye starts. I do it up till there because then we will be taking a kind of bigger brush um, and putting the cocoa. Do very little of this and put it in the crease. Now to kind of help enhance this, I use a little bit of Nutty, just a little bit, just because glitter on glitter can kind of, it can kind of get lost. The colors can get lost together. So this kind of just enhances it a little bit. And then that you just put in the crease of the eye. You can feel it a little bit. So just a little bit of the cocoa in the crease of the eye. If you kind of look at it, you can kind of see the two glitters get lost. So that's where the nutty, which is all the way over here, kind of helps enhance it a little bit. And you just want to swipe your brush left to right until you feel it looks to how you like it. Then I take about the same brush you used for Coco Crush, about the same, and Palm Reader. This is the very shiny one, and I just do it a little bit above the eyebrow. Kind of highlights that bone up here. And then I take just a little bit and put it over here. Just this usually helps you make a look, make you look like you're awake. Brightens the eye up a little bit. And always just adds a little bit extra sparkle. You want to make sure you put as much as on you can so that the judges that if you are at a gym contest they are way up there so you want to make sure they can see every sparkle they can and so now real quick on the eyebrows I'm going to take this eyebrow gel this is totally optional I don't usually do it that much but sometimes it helps the eyebrows stay in place. I don't recommend this for little ones if you have them. It doesn't do much, kind of just keeps them in place so that they don't move and look a little funky when you're dancing. So now I'm going to take this e.l.f. 
eyeliner. You, I request that you have some sharp eyeliner. It kind of helps get that big wing that we always want. Very sharp and clean. So I'm gonna take it from the corner of your eye all the way over here, just a straight line across the eyelash area. And you wanna keep it as close to the eye lashes as possible and then once you get that line right from where kind of you can kind of see a little if you were to draw a line right from where the other corner of the eye starts right from there and just however long you want start wherever you would like and just go straight down and then you adjust to however on it. Make it thick or thin, however you like it. Okay. This one is a very thick one. And then I will also show you a very thin one over here so you can kind of get two different looks. Again, same along the eyelash. And then just the same thing from over here, straight line down. This one, I'm going to use the very end of it so I can get that thin line. And then from there, just draw another line to connect. So you have two different looks over here. Very thick over here and very thin over here. Whatever you prefer, whatever looks better on your child. Sometimes with shorter, very small eyes, you want to have a very small wing. But with big eyes like this one, thick is usually better. And then we will be taking our lashes. Now, lashes are a preference on how big or how small you like them. She likes very big lashes, so we have these beauties from Sephora. Um, and we will just be using glue and putting them on. I'll kind of show you how we put them on and then. Open up the glue. Whatever glue you prefer, doesn't matter. I just take a little bit out and Draw all along the eye lash part. You can kind of see where the glue is supposed to go. And if you get a clump on it, just kind of spread it along until you're happy with how much glue. You want it to look very white. Or if it's clear, have a lot of clear on it. And then I usually just blow a little bit and dry it a little bit so it's sticky. It kind of helps it stick better and stay on longer. And then we'll just put it on the eye. 